most annoying playing partner video. Yeah. Most annoying. Yeah, this goes on and on. I know those guys. I play with them all the time. Oh, I know this guy. I play with this guy. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Yep, I know that guy. I play with that guy. Oh, this guy I know, too. All right, enough of that. You guys say this are too long anyway, so we're going to get on with it. We'll just get on with it. But on the theme of uh, playing partners, I thought I would do a little video on the Badger Men's Golf League. Most compatible slash loving partners. So... I'm just going to do the top three because we've got 16 teams here. So just we're just going to do three. I just, these three came to mind. So that's what I'm going to do. So coming in at number one, number one is Big Al and Tom Bessie. Obviously, father and son team. So, you know. That's a blessing to be able to play golf every week with your dad so and son. So they get the top spot. I didn't have to give it much thought, but um, they came to mind. And if you've ever golfed with them, oh, you have. Of course you have. What am I saying? If you've ever noticed, you know, the only time there's any, any real co conflict is when Tom's, you know, strutting down looking for his ball, you know, in the next fairway and Big Al's trying to chase him down and help him. You know, so not that there's a uh, any any conflict, but they're they're pretty even mellowed fellows. There's never a problem. Just uh, just Al trying to help Tom. So they're number one. Number two is Steve Isley and Ed Corcoran. Uh, I don't know if they've been playing together for 20 or 30 or 40 years, but, you know, they get the, you know, married couple, we've been together forever, never have a problem. Compatible, loving partners coming in at number two. Uh, never a problem. So it gets a little tougher after after those two. So Big Al and Steve. So I got no, I got number three. I've got Kim Todd and Jeff Lindroth, and this is more on the uh, more on the bromance side. Anything if you've noticed, those guys are a little a little friendly. They're a little more touchy feely. A little more a little more. I know it's probably they're both. Uh, heterosexual and there's I'm sure it's simply it's a platonic relationship from all I can tell but my god uh your mind could could wander there so they they are uh, a very loving compatible partnership there kind of like uh, uh, uh Batman and Robin that weird who knows what's going on behind closed doors. So that's it. Those are my top three. Let's, uh, I'm going to try to do this a lot faster because, you know, I know we don't have a bunch of time to sit here and watch a, a video for, for, um, for 17 minutes. So first off, uh, Ken and I suck. We we just totally suck at golf. And these guys kicked our ass. So those guys are great. We suck. Jerry and Pat against uh, David and Jeff. And um, they split the points. That was even. This, uh, split the points. One and a half. One and a half. Uh, nothing stellar there. Um, 
uh, other than David and Jeff, I think are, let's see, they are, let's see, yeah, they're in a tough division there, so, they're in division one, so, might be hard to catch those, you know who. Dwayne and Josh are playing better. They're leading there. They got all the points in that round. They're leading the uh, the um, champions there from last year. They got all the points. And uh, Tom and Tom and Brian are yeah. They're in a tough division, and they're uh, hmm. They only got one point so far, so. I wonder if that's karma. I wonder. I wonder if that's karma. Hank and Paul versus Jan and Joseph. And Jan and Joseph, even though they got one, they 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 did get a point. And Hank and Paul got two. I think. Yeah, Jan and Joseph. No, no, they only have seven points, so they're in, they're in second in their division. And Hank and Paul are, are, they are tied for second in their division. But I don't think there's anything to report here much, other than Hank played well. Greg and John against Rob and Andy. Let's see. I think that was a pretty close match. Let's see here. Yeah, two to one. And Rob and Andy are, they are tied. Right now, they are tied for first in Division Four. So... Good for them. And Greg and John are in Division 2, I believe. Yes, and they are in the middle of the pack. So Andy subbed in for Paul again. Mark did his thing. Al and Tom uh, got two points there. Uh, Tom straightened up his act, and those guys are um, uh, middle of the pack in their division. Uh, Steve and Ed. Ed had to, uh, I think he had to boogie. He had to leave. He, he, so we're going to put him down as uh, did not finish. So I, that's what I did. Steve played well um, and tied Bruce. With getting four strokes, that was a tie. And those guys came away with two and a half points. And Steve got a half a point there. Let's see if there's anything there. Sorry, guys. This is the, You guys want it fast? This is going to be fast, okay? I'm trying to get over this. Maybe I'd, I like spending time on this. I like to go over some of this stuff. But, hey, you guys said get, get, get going. So I'm going to move on. And Bill and Jason got three points. Uh, this was a very, very close round. Uh, I think it was one point uh, between Bill and Stu and one point between Jason and, and Mike. So, so hey, that was a close, and they got all three points. So moving on, last but not least, is the, um, is the prizes. Jeff, uh, I think he had something like, oh, my God, I don't know if it's 12 putts. John had 14. Uh... Pat and Josh tied. I think that was 14 as well. And Bill had, I think, 16. So there's the prize winners. The, the tie, I'm not sure what to do with that. I don't know how we handled that. We had a tie last week, and I gave it to Josh because I would tied him. So I conceded and gave him the ball. Now he's tied with Pat, so I don't know. I got them both down. We'll figure it out. In any event, I guess back to what I'm doing here. We'll see you guys Tuesday.
Coming over the top, yeah. I know that guy.